but now here's Paul Jones with Beat the Teacher. <laughs> The last one before we do what happens next week, which is our championship playoff. Three best pupils, three best teachers. And what happens in the last one before that? Well, Mrs. Hastings is defending £210 worth of equipment for the school library, correct? Indeed. Now, which school is that again? Bees like High School and Pennycook. I wanted you to say Pennycook because I wasn't sure I was saying it properly. Pennycook. There you are, you see. What do you teach again, Mrs. Hastings? Maths and computing. Maths and computing. And your hobbies? Scottish country dancing and numeracy tuition to adults. Oh, yes. Is, you regard that as a hobby, teaching numeracy to adults? It takes a lot of my spare time, and it's a worthwhile activity. Do you, do, do you just take one person at a time, or do you take classes? No, we do individual tuition to anybody who wishes to come in off the street. It's a free yes. service. And find out how numbers work. I must come along. OK, that's Mrs Hastings from Pennycook, and she's playing crosses. Yay! Now, just this side of Edinburgh is a good long way away from where we are now in Shepherd's Bush, but Acton is very near. Acton High School is where Michaela Wilkinson comes from. Welcome, Michaela. Hello. Which year are you in? Fourth. Fourth year. And tell me what subjects you're good at in school. Mm, I'm not really, really good at any of them, but... I'm all right. She's all right? What, at everything? Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. I, I wasn't all right at everything when I was at school. What are your hobbies? I like listening to music by Aha and reading horror books. Reading horror books? And listening to horror music? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> Certainly didn't mean it. Um, aha and horror books. And what are you trying to get for the school? Um, computer equipment for the edge Education support department. Good. Anyway, that's Michaela. She's from Acton High School and she is playing Noughts. <laughs> All right, before we start, there are two free moves. Challenge us away, Michaela. Middle, middle. Middle, middle. Mm. Mrs. Hastings. Top left. Top left. Michaela again. Bottom right. Bottom right. Taking one for yourself this time. And Mrs. Hastings. Can you do the same? Middle right. Middle right? Yes, good. All's even. Well, let's get going then. Seven sealed boxes each contain a single fruit. There are four apples, two oranges and one pear in the boxes. How many boxes must I open before I am sure to have found an apple? <coughs> Mrs Hastings. Four. Four, yes, because I could open the two oranges and the pear first, and it would be the fourth one where I'd find my, my apple. Three moves. Top right one. Top right one. Middle left one. Middle left one. Bottom middle one. Bottom middle one. Oh, <laughs> is this board fixed, I ask myself? I don't know. Steve has 17 as his lucky number. Jean has 18 as his. Who might have 12 as their lucky number? Steve, 17. Jean, 18. Who might have 12 as a lucky number? Yes, Mrs Hastings. Ellie? Ellie? I don't think it could possibly be Ellie. <coughs> Try it, Michaela. What? Eve. Eve, yes. I, don't, I, I mean, I could have given you Ellie, but I've never seen it spelled E-L-E. No, I Which agree. is what it would have to be. No. Um, I would have accepted tell, I suppose, really, but Eve is the one we wanted, and that's worth three moves. Middle, middle... Two. Middle, middle two. And top, middle one. Top, middle one. <laughs> uh, good. A diagonal start for Acton. What were Nelson's last words at the Battle of Waterloo? <laughs> Mrs Hastings. Nelson didn't fight at the Battle of Waterloo. He wasn't even there. Never mind fighting. He wasn't at the Battle of Waterloo. I was just trying to confuse you. He died at the Battle of Trafalgar ten years before the Battle of Waterloo. I was obviously thinking of the Duke of Wellington. That's worth two moves. Bottom right one. Bottom right one. Top left one. Top left one? OK. What is the least number of pieces that could be left on a chessboard at the end of a game? Yes. Three. 
three, that's right. Two kings and one other bit on the winning side. Uh, two moves. Top right, two. Top right, two. Yes. Two van drivers went to a football match together. One van driver is the father of the other van driver's son. How are the two drivers related? Yes, Michaela. Brothers. No. Not if one van driver is the father of the other van driver's son. How are they related? Mrs. Hastings, I can't wait all day, you oh, to know. guess grandfather and son. No, no. The husband and wife. <laughs> you, know, you don't think of van drivers as being women, do you? That just shows what a sexist lot you all are. Right. Now look at this, please. You see your digital watch in the bathroom mirror. What does it read? That was Michaela. Monday the 7th, 2.34. Nope. Sorry, Mrs Hastings. Monday the 7th, 9.34. At 9.34, yes, correct. Three moves. Bottom right, one. Bottom right, one. Top left, one. Top, le top left, one, yes. And one other. Middle, middle one. Middle, middle one. All right, well, that gives you a line along on the top and one down on the right and gets you into the scoring at, with 20. Whose album was a thriller? Michaela. Michael Jackson. Who else? Two moves. Bottom right two. Bottom right two. OK. Which vegetable must always be found in a traditional peas pudding? That was Michaela. Peas. Peas, absolutely. Two moves. Bottom left one. Bottom left one. Do we know what that is? Well, we found out now. Top. Left one. Top left one. OK. Look at your screen now, because in lovely picture coming up. The hare and the tortoise ran a 5,000 metre race. The hare could run 500 metres a minute, and the tortoise covered 5 metres a minute. But halfway through, the hare stopped to sleep for eight hours. Who won the race? That was Michaela. The hare. The hare won the race. Yes, it did. At five metres a minute, the tortoise would take 16 hours to cover that distance. The hare stopped for eight hours and still won by seven hours and 50 minutes or thereabouts. OK, two moves. Top left one. Top left one. Bottom left one. Bottom left one. Good. Have a look at your screen and tell me what word is being spelt out here. What is that word? <coughs> Mrs. Hastings is there? Builder. Builder! She's correct, you know. Three moves. Bottom right, two. Bottom right, two. Top left, one. Top left, one. OK, line down on the right. Another ten points to Penny Cook. What colour are the numbers on a standard speed limit sign? <coughs> Mrs. Hastings. Black. Black, yes. Do you drive? Yes. Good. Well, that's all right. Then. Two moves. Middle, middle one. Middle, middle one. Bottom left one. Bottom left one? Not in fact. There we are. It stands pretty even. What town has no ham in it? Northampton, Southampton, Fakenham. I don't know how you pronounce that. Hamilton. One of those has no ham in it. Oh, yes. Northampton. Northampton has no ham in it. In that order. That's worth three moves. Bottom, middle, two. Bottom, middle, two. And... Bottom, right, one. Bottom, right, one. Oh. <laughs> you didn't mean to do that, did you? No. You may have done, I don't know. That gives you one line down through the centre, brings Pennycook up to 40. What light... What will produce a daffodil or light up a room? Don't say a magician. Yes, Michaela. Bulb. A bulb will produce a daffodil and light up a room. Two moves. Top. Left. One. Top left, one. Bottom. Right. One. Bottom right, one. I see. Well, you happen to have scored ten for Penny Cook, bringing them up to the half century. <laughs> that amount of expected excitement on the opposition team. Look at this. Can you arrange the three spare numbers at the tips of the triangle, so that each side adds up to 16. 
Where do you put the uh, three spare numbers? I want each side to add up to 16. Mrs Hastings is there. I want the three at the top. Three at the top. The four at the bottom left and the five at the bottom right. Five at the bottom right. Well, you would expect somebody who teaches adult numeracy to get that right, and get it right you have. Three moves. Bottom right two. Bottom right two. Bottom left one. Bottom left one. You wish I'd said a lot more moves than that, don't you? But anyway, there's 20, and that brings you up to 70. Ah, look what's happening. Not unexpected, this. Uh, Michaela's playing her joker. All right, then. You know what happens when you play the joker? We upend this so that the opposition can't play the, their joker until the sands all run through. And uh, we're, what we do is we reverse the board. I make that four lines or 40 points. Michaela, there are 40 points for you, if you can only answer me this correctly. It's a true or false question. True or false, in the television series Dallas, the name of Ewing's ranch is North Fork. False. False. It's South Fork, isn't it? Absolutely right, and that's 40 to you. <laughs> Well, that's 50 and 70. Things are still fairly close. Which of these sports does not have a goalkeeper? Football, basketball, netball, hockey, water polo. Yes, Michaela? Basketball. Basketball doesn't have a goalkeeper, does it? Quite correct. Three moves. Middle left two. Middle left two. And bottom left. One. Bottom left one, what's that? Good heavens, it's a whole thing! <laughs> 60 more, bringing Acton up to 110, which shows the double advantage sometimes of playing a joker. All right, what do we do when the board looks like that? We randomise it. <laughs> Have you finished? Good. Thank you. Now then, next question. What might we look upon as rubbish that is dearly loved by our mother cat? Yes. Litter. Litter, that's right. It's a verbal one, this one. Litter. Uh, which uh, Mother Cat certainly wouldn't look upon as rubbish. Two moves. Middle, middle one. Middle, middle one. Bottom right one. Bottom right one. Rapidly back into the scoring. Another ten to Penny Cook. When Boaster Bragg returned from Africa, he claimed he had shot one lion, two tigers, three elephants and four rhinos. How did I know he was lying? Mrs. Hastings. We don't have tigers in Africa. There are no tigers in Africa, at least not running around wild. That's good. Three moves. Middle right one. Middle right one. Top left two. All right. Top left two. That gives you another diagonal line, does it not? And another ten points, bringing you up to 90. Things are very close still. Why can you find... Oh, all right, duck. That's that, then. In that case, Acton on 110, Pennycook 90. Acton are the winners! Yeah! Beaten, I think, by the Joker rather than anything else, Mrs Hastings. Very well done. 90 to add to 210 gives you 300, which is pretty good stuff. £300 worth of equipment for the school library and your very own Beat the Teacher pen. Thank you very much, Mrs Hastings. Thank you. So it's goodbye to her, and it's also goodbye to her, because 110... Well, you, would, you didn't expect to make it back to next week on just one game, because next week is the three highest-scoring pupils that we've ever had against the three highest-scoring teachers that we've ever had. And I think I've got time to tell you who they are. Three highest-scoring teachers, Miss Edwards with 2,070, Mr McCourt, remember him, with 770, and Mr Cooney with 510. The pupils will be Jared Hill who had 440, Kate Hope, 230, and Sarah Wills, who had 210. They will all be back next week. I'm looking forward to it. Hope you are, too. Join us on Monday for Beat the Teacher. <laughs>